Someone much wiser than me uh, said very clearly, I would rather have questions I can't answer than answers I can't question. But we're gonna pay you to not work. Just kick back, you know, mm -hmm. sit in a bean bag and eat Cheetos. We'll send you money. <laughs> um, and we're all going to have the same outcome at the end. No, we're not. we're not. You were the host of one of the most successful daytime programs mm -hmm. in television history. You have more than 10 New York Times bestsellers. So why change course? This is a drastic change. Why now? What's the vision? I think that Marriage Street Media is a hero network. Mm. I, I really believe this is going to prove to be a, a, a clarion voice network. I think you guys are gonna be clarion voices. I think the message that this network delivers is, is going to be, uh, when, when history looks back on this, is going to be a game-changing network uh, that came at a time when common sense was really required mm -hmm. in our society, mm -hmm. in our lives, when clarity was really needed about values and what was important to keep this country on track culturally and societally. And I think that this is the right place and the right time for this network to really shine uh, and put a spotlight on some important issues. Yeah, I love that expression, the cream always rises to the top. You know, there's a reason why we're here and I wanna keep talking about your vision your vision for Morning on Merritt Street, and why Fenton and me? Well, people right now have a hard time getting straight news. Mm -hmm. yeah. they, they have a hard time getting people to say, look, here's what happened. I, I wanna tell you straight and let you make up your own, uh, make up your own mind about what it means for your life and, and how you feel about it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, someone much wiser than me uh, said very clearly, I would rather have questions I can't answer than answers I can't question. Mm -hmm. Your whole mantra is common sense television. We're two hours in the morning. We're a mix of lifestyle and news. What do you want the viewer to get out of Morning on Merit? Uh, I want them to get, as I said, clarity about what's going on. I, I want them to, to be challenged to think. Mm -hmm. I want them to have a good time. Mm -hmm. Nobody can be around you two very long and not have a good time. <laughs> Right? Well, that's well we'd right. like to think so. Yes, we like to think well, so. Well, really, um, it, it's called Morning on Merritt Street because I want people to wake up every morning and look forward to getting information, yes. uh, getting entertained, mm -hmm. uh, getting a, a very optimistic view about the rest of their day, uh, knowing that they've got somebody that they can partner with for the day. And this is a family-based network. And you know, I've, I've written a new book called We've Got Issues. Um, how you can stand strong for America's soul and sanity. And it's kind of a blueprint for it this is. network. It's a blueprint for my show, uh, Dr. Phil Primetime, which is on uh, every night, 8, 7 Central. And that's where we do a real deep dive on some things that you guys are going to be introducing mm -hmm. every day. You named this network Merritt Street Media for a very specific reason based on the idea of meritocracy. Talk to us more about that and why it's important. Well, I did. I didn't choose this at random. It wasn't just reach into a bag and pull out a, a, yeah. a word. Yeah. Um, I thought about this, prayed about this, talked mm -hmm. about this. Robin and I went over this. Mm -hmm. uh, I talked to all of our staff. And, uh, you know, I've been on the air at CBS for 21 years. Mm -hmm. and. Love CBS, still have a show on CBS that I'm actually going to be competing with some because it's <laughs> So Help Me Todd, which is on Thursday nights, and I'm going to be on when it's on. So you're going to have to tape one, watch the other. Record one. I yes. said tape. I'm so old. <laughs> Nobody tapes anymore. Um, but I do believe that this country, this society, this culture, this culture, was built on hard work, yes. mm -hmm. rewarding hard work, mm -hmm. rewarding talent, rewarding contribution. Right. Um, and we seem to have so many forces in this country that are trying to get away from that. Um, and we need, to get, we need to get focused on that. Yeah. Um, you need to earn your way mm -hmm. in this mm -hmm. world, right? That's you, right. Nobody gets a free ride. I, you know, I think old sayings get to be old sayings because they're profound. Yeah. And those things that stick around generation after generation after yeah. generation do so because they always apply. 
And one of those is there's no free lunch. There's no free lunch. And there is no free lunch. You know, if they come and tell you, hey, you know what? We're going to give you, we're your government, we're here to help you. We're going to give you $1,000 a month. We're going to give you bonuses on top of unemployment. We're going to pay you to not work. Just kick back, you know, mm -hmm. sit in a bean bag and eat Cheetos. We'll send you money. <laughs> um, and we're all going to have the same outcome at mm -hmm. the end. No, we're not. We're not. There's a big difference between a hand out and a hand up. Oh, that's right. And we should be willing to give everybody a hand up, but not everyone a hand yeah. out. And, and those people that need a hand up, they need that nudge, they need a tailwind, that wind at their back, then, man, let's do everything we can to give it to them. Amen. Amen.